Hey everybody, we have a new change this year that we're starting up on Monday. As you may know, we used to write passes to go out in the hallways. We got a new version we're going to do now, and we're going to use an e-hall pass to be out in the hallways. So there's going to be a time where you need to go somewhere in the building. Instead of us writing a pass, we're going to use an electronic version. So you would still need to ask your teacher permission, and then we would use the kiosk sitting over here to create that pass. Miss Lander, can I go to the bathroom? Thank you. So now that I have permission, I need to come over to the computer and create that permission. So I create pass. I'm going to go right now. And then I'm going to search my name. And then I choose I'm going to the bathroom. And since I'm in Miss Laner's, I'm going to use the bathroom 78 boys, which is 105. Now this tells me I have five minutes. Once I start this pass, the timer will start, and then I go. Start pass. Here's my pass. Be back in a minute. So when I get back, I need to make sure to end my pass. So I'll come over. My name is test student. End pass. I'm going to go back to my seat. So sometimes when you create a pass, it may not let you go at that moment. And here's why. If I had to go to create a pass, and in this case, if I'm going to go to the bathroom, you'll see at this one, there's already three people in there, and it's already grayed out. So that means three people can be in the bathroom at a time, and you might get a message that says, you can't go right now, try again in a few minutes. There may be times where you go to create a pass and it won't let you. There may be varying reasons for this. If so, you'll see a message that looks like this. Sorry, you can't start your pass right now. Please try again later. At that point, you can wait a few minutes and then try it again. So when you see me in the hall, I might be looking at my phone. The reason for this is I can see all the active passes that are out and which students should be in the hall and where they should be going. So if you're not in that spot, we'll probably have a conversation about where we need to be. So this is the same system they're using at the high school. We're gonna start it out with these basic features of your e-hall passes, and as more come online, we'll introduce you to those and how to use them. All right, you have a great day. We'll see you in the halls.